Hi, I'm Kevin Hall, the Magic Maniac. I came from a showbiz family, and I was kind of the black sheep going into engineering. I designed computer circuits. Did that for almost 20 years. I finally had a midlife crisis and wanted to explore some new avenues. I became a professional dancer, but the costumes and the music kind of um, a little embarrassing. Eventually, I went to a magic shop, bought one trick, came home and told my wife, I'm so excited, we're going to be magicians. And she goes, we are? I don't think I'll ever leave magic behind. I think I have found my place in the world at last. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the maniac of magic, Kevin Hall. Greetings, greetings. Yes, I really am a maniac, so how about let's hear a nice, hi, maniac. Hi, maniac. Well, that was nice. I was trying to be nice, and you're already calling me names. Thanks. Actually, you know, I think I know what you need. You guys need some entertaining anagrams. Yes, that's when you rearrange the letters inside of words to find the hidden words within. Now, I'm thinking, why use normal words like duck toaster when you could use people's names instead? For example, Pangelette. If you rearrange the individual letters in his name, it turns into the somewhat grotesque teen gel pint. You should be proud of that, yes. I am. But what's most amazing is Penn's full name, Penn Fraser Gillette. It turns into this. Penn Teller Fair Jest. Now that is truly amazing, and I think Penn's parents deserve a round of applause. How did they know? Yes. <laughs> now we can have even more fun by rearranging these letters to spell the name of a very famous magician. And I think you all know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about the one, the only, Relit. That's right, Harry Relly, king of the truck stop magician, star of stage, screen, and restrooms. Oh yeah, I could rearrange these letters by hands too, but why should I when I have this? That's right, my magic tube. Oh, it may look empty. Oh no, it's not. It's a device that can warp both time and space. Watch, no matter what order these blocks go into, I can create the name of another famous magician with a simple clap. Everyone? Bam. Yes, and we get the incredible Relit. No, I mean, it's no, it's not Harry Relit. No, this is even more famous brother, Larry Relit. You know the, you know the casino headliner from the Motel Six down the. Okay, it doesn't matter. The important part is, is that we created a perfect match, and the letters are only on one side. Ooh. Here we go. Brothers. Very nice. Now, you probably already realize that these blocks can also spell another magician's name. Whoa, even more famous than Relit. Yes, but can the magic tube match this when we throw blocks in at random? Okay, how about two L's and two E's and maybe an R and a T? Yes, can I actually get these two stacks to match? I don't know. Everybody is from Goods, get ready and do it. Boom. And we have, whoa, the Towers of that's a double shot of awesome. Give it up. Yes. Man. What? 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 What is this? So over there, they're saying, oh, that's not enough. I cannot believe it. That whole side of the audience is saying, no, Kevin, we want more. Say more. <laughs> this side is saying, Kevin, we want control. Say control. <laughs> and all of you are saying, Kevin, we want to pick the letters. Don't say that, no. Because there's over 700 possible combinations. You think I should just let you pick letters at random, do you? Yeah. All right. All right, tell her, would you mind just picking the first letter, uh, anyone you want? Aha, T is a good choice. There we go. All right, let's see here. How about this gentleman right there? Sir, what would you like? R. R, R, a very good letter. We'll go like that. 
You know, it's just too easy. Audience, we can have this face up or face down. Which way? Face down. Face down. Very, very good. Pen, would you mind picking a letter? We got L, L, and E. Uh, e. E. Would you like that face forward, face back, or sideways? Sideways. Sideways. Good choice. There we go. How about this lady over here? Would you like to pick a letter? We've got L and L left. You want an L? I want an L. Very good. Audience, all together now, would you like this upside down, right side up, front, back, left, right, top, bottom, sideways, or inverted? <laughs> Inverted, I think. Okay. All right. We'll toss this one in the air like that. Yes, here we go. And we'll put it like that. And what do we have? We have a mess. That's right. If we can actually fix this with the magic tube, I think it deserves a nice big round of applause. Because think about it. No one could have predicted this pattern. So can I use a magic tube to make this mixed up mess spell teller? Can I? Why should I? It's not teller and teller. It's pen and teller. Yes. you become a magician? I was like 30 something. I had kind of a midlife crisis and I decided that, hey, it's time to become a magician. Wow. Oh. All right, I'm going to check in with the boys. Boys, hello. Oh my goodness. You know, this is usually done with numbers. And you yes. went to all the trouble to do it with our names. And I thought it was really great. I love the anagrams. Well, thank you so and much. And I love the way the whole thing is uh, laid out like this. I love how energetic it is. I, I, I love you calling yourself the maniac. And I love duck toaster. Of course. You know, it's so hard to bring up words that really are just funny, just standing on their own. Are you good? Are you good at anagrams? Uh, not that good. It takes me a while to do them. If I just gave you a few letters, would you be able to uh, do a few anagrams? You don't do it loud. You could do it in your head, for instance. All right. If I gave you this. like yeah. H, and I H. gave you like L, and then another L, and then Can I buy a S, vowel? and then E. Could you anagram that? It could be shells. It could be that, yeah. It could be, but probably hells. Probably hells. Yeah. Yeah. Probably hells, what I meant. <laughs> Get an idea of what I'm talking about? I think I might. Because <laughs> this is, this is saying, hells. Well, it's a hell of a... Yeah, I'm yeah, just saying yeah. it's a hell of a trick, is all yeah. I'm saying, <laughs> in my own little way. Um, is he saying that, or is he like, oh, hell, he filled me? I think he's saying, I slightly puzzled him. That's what I think he's saying. You know? Are you convinced I, you didn't fool them? I don't think I fooled them. All right, yeah. but... The Slightly Puzzled Award does go to oh, yes. Kevin Hall!